home biscuits it is saturday may 13th and it's actually my niece's birthday which i don't think i really talked about her because she um left to the army while i wasn't vlogging so i wasn't see this is why I regret not doing it because I missed out on some of those memories or having those conversations with um, you all and most importantly for myself to go um, back and take a look at. But um, she um, signed up for the army and she's been away for a few months. Uh, she's currently in training and we're going to go visit her next month. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see her. But today's her birthday and um, if you ever watch this, which you may or may not, she's really, really busy. She barely even looks at her phone. Happy birthday. I love you very, very much. And you make me very, very, a very proud aunt. Um, and I wish you the very best. And I know you're going to do great things for this country. So, yeah. Wanted to do that quick shout out. Um, and uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually my way in. I'm going to go open the... Um, the blinds because it's a little darker it's like it's never been this cold especially where I live in the part of LA because where I live it's always like 10 degrees hotter than downtown LA or majority of LA um, but it's pretty 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 cold like it's mid May and we're still in like 60 degrees it was pretty hot for a few days but I don't know what happened. So, yeah, I'm going to do my way in and start all that mess again. Hopefully, not hopefully, it will happen. Um, I it didn't work. Okay, so clearly my scale never left. <laughs> Here we go. That is... 310.8. Oh, okay. So my last weigh in was 312.2 uh, several months ago. So, I, like I said, I haven't, um, you know, gained the majority of the weight back. I've been able to maintain it. It's just I had those weekend getaways and I was like, eh, I'm in TJ, I'm in Mexico, I've got to eat 50 tacos. So, <laughs> and then when I got back, I was like, okay, well, then get back on track, Lorena. But I have been doing my keto, um, no carbs, low carbs, low sugars, but I really try to stick to no carbs. And by no carbs, I mean physical carbs, because something that I'm learning is that everything really has carbohydrates. You, I guess you just don't really think about it down to even fruits and vegetables. So obviously I am intaking carbs. I'm just doing it a very low amount, and I do that by just saying absolutely no to carby, starchy carbs, like the breads and the pastas, and um, beans are pretty high in carbs too. So I'm just really, really limiting that amount, and then all of the other carbs that I do intake are through natural carbs, through some of the fruits and veggies that I still eat. They're just lower in carbs, and I'm increasing my fats and protein, more fats than protein, and... um I did, I do want to make, like I said yesterday, I do, or before, that I do want to make a video more because I'm still learning on my, maybe my first week and a half-ish that I've been doing this. Um, but I think when I first started this, I weighed myself and I was like 313, no, like 315. So I gained a few pounds and now I've lost five pounds officially, but... I feel like I kind of just picked up right where I left off. So there it is, 310.8. Still not out of the 300s, but I am going to do it this time. I'm going to at least get there, okay? It's going to happen. It's going to happen. For today, I have planned to go to this event, and yesterday I procrastinated an immense amount. <laughs> it's not good. Um, but... I gotta really, I gotta really clean. I gotta really organize. That's what it is. I don't, I can't, I'm gonna clean, but my house isn't dirty. I've just gotta really organize. And I procrastinated a lot yesterday. Oh, now I'm regretting every moment of it. So I'm gonna get right to it. And um, I might let you guys in on when I start getting ready. I'll probably start recording again and show you how I do my lashes.
Okay, there's breakfast officially, two eggs, half avocado, just a tiny bit of cottage cheese and sauteed mushrooms. And of course, can't forget my delicious coffee. Yay! yummy -licious. Um, I can't finish my coffee. I, like I said, I'm not a huge coffee drinker. When I did drink coffee was like the Starbucks typical, you know, caramel frappuccino loaded with 50 pounds of sugar. And that's why it was delicious. I've always been more of a tea person. Y'all know that already. So I can't really finish my coffee. I'm going to drink a few more sips um, for the sake of it. But I did want to record this because I have this feeling going on right now. Something that I've noticed since I've started um, doing high fats is that I get, I'm get. i starting to get really full with the amount. I mean, you guys saw I, what I ate. I sauteed mushrooms, two eggs half an avocado and a little bit of cream cheese and I feel so full um it's kind of it's it satisfies me but I feel like when I used to eat carbs I would still have this feeling but it, I would feel more bloated than full and then of course I would get hungry like two hours later um I feel like with a high fat high protein I stay satisfied for a longer period of time and I eat, I no longer do the whole two snacks in between. It's just way too chaotic. And the next time I'll eat um, will probably be until one. I probably won't snack. Um, but yesterday I did snack in between my lunch and dinner because I got hungry. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I, I'm listening to my body and I'm listening to the way that it's telling me, okay, it's, you know, I'm satisfied now. And as, you know, I digest. I'll let you know when I'm hungry <laughs> versus trying to stuff it with things that I thought were correct. And they may be correct for some people, but I, I, I'm just, I think they're correct for me. So, um, yeah, I'm kind of liking the way that I feel, um, so much better than, um, than the way that I used to feel. Cause I feel like before part of the struggle with my dieting was just that I was just craving stuff all the time and um I would eat till I get satisfied but that was the problem like I would they they say okay you have to restrict yourself in calories but I I would still feel very full like it took a few months to finally get to the point ugh, my hand is hurting it took a few months to finally get to the point where it's like okay I'm finally being satisfied with the restricted amount of calories that I had and I mean I've lost some the weight but I honestly think majority of it did not come from my diet I think it came from my working out you know I know a lot of people thrive on um higher carbs uh, especially people that are on a vegan diet or I'm not the, yeah well I mean a diet is is not necessarily a bad thing a diet is just another word to say the way that you eat so technically everyone's on a diet um but I just finally am realizing that I don't do well with carbs. As much as I love them, um, I think my body just does not digest them well. And even with healthy, like, whole grain carbs. So I love the feeling that I'm feeling after a week that I can stay full. I literally just eat when my body tells me, hey, it's time to feed me some good stuff. Um, or stuff that you've been feeding me because I feel good. And then I literally will eat that and um, be fine. Before, when I would incorporate carbs, I had to limit the amount of food that I would intake because I was also somewhat counting calories. Like, I did it for just to give me an idea of, of like, serving size more than anything because, you know, you guys know that I've talked about, you know, portion size has been one of my biggest struggles but I don't feel like I have to portion size anything anymore because I'm just looking at the amount of fat that I take in. And as you guys saw what I ate, it was low in calories, but high in fat and protein. And I feel full, completely satisfied and will stay like that for a few hours. That's what I'm noticing. And obviously every single day that it happens, I'm starting to notice, notice uh, more and more. I just wanted to, to tell you guys because I know I haven't really made a video specific to the keto diet or how it's going because I'm still testing it out and whatnot. But um, I was sitting here like, man, I'm full. And then I looked at my plate and I'm like, well, I didn't really eat that much. But I like the feeling that I had a feast without having the feast.
Okay, so my room looks a mess right now, but I'm actually doing some deep organizing in my closet, which is really what I've been wanting to do. Um, here, let me show you something. I have, I can't even move it because it's so heavy. All of this is filled up to here. I have well over 100 nail polishes. I am obsessed with nail polish, and I don't think that I've ever shared that with you all. Um, I used to have a rag that carried 96, and it was, like, barely holding it. I couldn't fit. I need two of those now. But it broke when I moved, and they're, like, 40 bucks, and I just haven't purchased them. So I have them here because they were in a bag, and I ripped the bag open. Um, they were just, like, tossed over there because I would get nail polishes, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to put them somewhere a lot nicer so that my closet looks nice. Ouch. Ow, I stabbed myself with a nail polish. Um, I took these two out. This one is the Orly Nail Defense, and I'm going to put just on my cuticles um, because, yeah, and my nails suck. Um, and then these two I plan on taking it to get my nails done. I'm not sh quite sure if I want to do just silver, like a little bit of holographic. But I'm going to take those out. But look at all these that I found. They're like little mini um, nail polishes. And some of them you just got to shake up because they've been sitting there. And I got these when I used to go to a... Oops, I should probably move that. A uh, shelter... Um, it's like was like a therapy center. It was a domestic violence therapy center and every time that I would go in for my sessions I would get um, like a lot of just Cute stuff makeup nail polishes soap perfumes um, Whatever was donated there and they always are like just grab a handful and one time I went in and I grabbed like one or two of each and the girls like take more and I'm like ah this is all I need and she just grabbed a whole bunch and I remember giving some away but I guess I still kept a lot and I didn't remember so I have all these extra I'm going to give these away to my sister and my two friends but I have these and I kind of want to do a giveaway like two little ones to kind of equal one it's a really pretty silver no it's like a it's like a to a taupey color there you go isn't that pretty guys is so pretty so um yeah i'm gonna put the link in the description box below so that you can just fill it out it'll probably be like raffle copter or something simple so you know i can't think of anything right now but i want to get rid of them because um i don't know yeah i'll deserve it and then, i mean it's something super small um but i could just do two so i'll be picking three people to get them yay <sighs> i got an error message i'm trying to put up another vlog so that I stay on track but it is just not cooperating with me and I had to like step away from my room because my closet is done thankfully but my room like I took everything out of my drawer and everything's on my bed and it just started giving me a little bit of anxiety so I'm just like okay I need to do something else so that I can leave this um, like I'll edit it as fast as I can and then I'll it'll I'll leave this rendering and then I'll go and finish my room and then start you know getting ready for later on because it's already I mean it's 10 o'clock so it's not too bad I should probably be done by 10 30 and that'll give me like a 30 minute break away from my room which is like just a mess right now so but it, it doesn't seem like things are just going smoothly for me that's what I get for procrastinating y'all this is not good. Ah, I'm putting on a mask and this is what it looks like. I actually bought this back in Mexico. Voila. Let's see. It's called a three-step extreme pore hydrating treatment and it's a Korean mask and it's one of my favorite, all-time favorite masks and I hope I'm able to find them um, online because I'm down to, this is my second to last one so I have one left so yeah and I love the way it makes my skin and I feel like it really cleans it cleans my pores but I'm gonna stop talking because it's really annoying to talk like this but I just wanted to show y'all because it's funny my black I think it's like charcoal activated or something like that I have it here I should probably should have read that too right the mask has a large amount of charcoal in the mask fabric it absorbs skin impurities and excess oils um, and it really just leaves the skin really, really smooth especially for makeup applications so 
yeah i'm excited i had i should have done this quite some time ago because i kind of broke out here and now i want to clean my face yellow okay does it make a difference do i look 20 years younger tell me i look 20 years younger or i will not be a friend um yeah I feel it more than anything and when I apply my makeup is when I feel it but I do think it makes a difference it definitely makes my skin look a lot smoother um, I don't generally suffer from like acne or, or, or I'm not prone to acne I get these spots as you guys have seen like I get these one two offs you know I still got something going on here so I'm not looking for perfect skin I'm just looking to maintain the skin I already have and just you know deal with these pores so yeah that's what it looks like hey thanks for watching make sure to follow me on all my social media at i am lolo and don't forget to subscribe